Hello everyone, this is Dragonheart and welcome to another mod overview for Total War Rome 2. Today we have Constantine Rise of Christianity. Now as always, if you want to see me test some mods out, let me know in the description below, or in the comments below, sorry, of what mods you'd like me to see and I can maybe make a video of them in the near future. But anyway, this mod is Constantine Rise of Christianity and we are going to go on to Constantine Rise of Christianity. Click on it here. This is for the Grand Campaign, so you don't need any DLCs for this. As you can see, all the factions have changed. We have Maxentius, Augustus, we have some Germanic tribes, the Franks, the Goths, and the Lombards. We have the Eastern Empires, Armenia, and the Sass Sassanian Empire, Licinus, Augustus. We have Maximinus, Dyer, Augustus, Constantine, of course, himself. We have the Picts of Britannia. We have the African Kingdom of Garamantia, an Arabian tribe of Kinder, and a nomadic tribe of the Huns. So quite varied, lots of different playable factions which I like. We are going to of course play as Constantine himself. So I'm not going to read all the description for you guys, but what I will say is quickly pause the video, have a little read of some of the text on the screen. I will scroll down so you can read all the rest of the text. I'll do it again here for this part as well. So. Pause the screen now to read this. I'll scroll down and pause the screen again to read that. So, he's merciful, minus 20% income from looting. Claims initiative, so you got a plus 10 charge bonus for all units when attacking. Uniting force, which is moderate to diplomatic bonus with all non-barbarian factions, which is a cultural affinity. So without further ado, I'm going to click the start button and I shall see you all on the campaign map. Hello everybody and welcome to the campaign map. So as always we have the regular objective issued which you get in the Grand Campaign and this time it tells us to control 45 settlements either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies and you get 2,500 coins for that. The reason why it's 45 is because the map is absolutely humongous with the amount of land that you own. As you can see our empire stretches from um, Northern England and Wales, we have all of France, all of Iberia and parts of North Africa as well so a massive massive empire probably a good sound starting strategy would be to take all of Caledonia and Hibernia to get another full province and probably take uh, the remaining two settlements in Mauritania as well we have a custom made logo we have loads and loads of armies about the place let's have a quick look at our generals so we can recruit actually 12 armies straight off the bat we currently have seven traits. We have Gallia, Britannia, et Hispania. So we have Fierce Warriors, plus 10 melee attack, and we have the Will to Power, which is a plus one public order for every war against the neighboring faction. Constantine himself, he has Claims Initiative, Uniting Force, and Merciful. And we have a Food Surplus to begin with as well. We own 10 full provinces. So we have Constantine, we have Julius Constantinius, we have Flavius Dalmatius, Clovius, Brutius, Emilius, Lucius and Horatius. Loads of generals to begin with. We have the, of course we have these, but some of these have been done for you already, so you don't have to worry, like the first full tier ones are all done um, for the management. Same for siege, and then the same for economy, and of course construction. So you've got all level 1 stuff already, and you've got some level 2 stuff as well. So most of your constructions and your researching has been done for you at the start of this campaign lots of buildings you can upgrade straight away straight off the bat but of course I want to show you a battle I want to show you actually a good idea would be to just go through the traits of some of these so Constantine himself is 39 and he look at oh my god look at the abilities he has he has the loyalty of the Emperor he has presence he's a great leader so he can't be killed only wounded he has minus 3% corruption which is faction wide plus 20% tax he has loads and loads of stuff guys, I'm not going to read all of them, but as you can see on the screen for yourselves right by there, he has loads of things going for him. He's going to be your main general in this campaign if you choose to play as Constantine and his faction. And the rest of his, his um, statesmen and generals, they aren't as good as him as you can see, this guy's only got the one star. He does have some things going for him, and he's probably a good guy to level up as well in this campaign. This guy's a little bit better, got some force effects, he has plus 10% morale and plus 2 public order, they're good things to go for early on in the campaign. 
I'm not going to go through all of them, but I want to find and try and get a battle for you guys. Let's have a look around our border. Let's see what mischief we can have. So, Maxentius, of course, is our neighbouring faction here. And a good thing we could probably look at is the diplomacy. So, straight off the bat, the Picts don't like us in the north. Epidani don't like us over in Ireland. The Franks don't like us, which are nearby in Swaby. The Gate Tuli are quite neutral towards us down here. The Masaili are also neutral, as well as Maxentius. So Maxentius isn't at war to begin with. I think probably a good idea would be to try and take out the the picks up here to begin with. We have a siege battle by the looks of things, or maybe I can try and coax them into an open field battle. So Emilius is going to be recruiting some units for us, and it's a good chance to go through some of the units. So these will be your standard Roman units, basically. Equites, Auxiliary Britain Scout Riders, Cohorts Veterani, Legionary Cohorts, Cohorts Auxiliary. As you can see, the spelling has changed with the mod. I don't know whether you can change that or not with other sub-mods, but it might be worth looking into the Steam group to find out more about that. Auxiliary Speed... Spear... Oh, sorry. Auxiliary Spear Band, Auxiliary Britain Slingers, and Velites along with some war dogs and some levies. So I'm going to get a couple of units of war dogs because they're very useful. And we're going to get a unit of slingers, I think. Or maybe we'll go for two. No, we'll go for one. And we are going to end turn. I'm just going to quickly go through the end turn. Oh, what is this? Provinces, of course, provinces. So we're going to go for some let's go for some bread and games. And we've got loads of provinces by the looks of things. So I'm going to quickly do this. This is one thing you have to remember. I'm just going to put bread and games on everything, I think. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just click end turn. It's only for a brief video. It doesn't really matter. If, if it's a let's play, I'd obviously go through all of it. But because it's just the overview video, not a let's play, I'm not too bothered about that at the moment. So as you can see, all the factions going through now at the top of the screen. All the different factions of this time period. Be, imagine it'd be quite cool to play as the Huns. I'm not quite sure if Attila is one of the generals or not. I'm not quite sure if he was actually alive during this period of Constantine. And maybe I'm not quite sure about the year. I mean, it's 311 AD. When was when was his time? I think he was slightly later than this. Probably wasn't there. Anyway, what we're going to do is going to wage war against the Ebdani. So we will click. Greetings, friend. Declare war. We will speak. Done. And we're going to come to here, just outside the border. Trespassing. That's weird. Hang on a minute, I've clicked the wrong one. Oh my god, what a fail. <laughs> I thought I was clicking the wrong guy. Right, picks we want to clear over with them I'm as well. Sure you have many there we go, lovely. Four, one, and eight. We'd be outnumbered probably, so I will get a few mercenaries because we can. I'm just going to wait there, click end turn, and we're going to. Oh, we're going to ignore that. Wrong button then. Just fly through this. Just get a little, get a little feel for this mod. How would you like oh, and Maxentius has declared war on me. Excellent, I guess. <laughs> Will he attack me? He has attacked me. So we have our first battle, and we don't know where we are. Can't even see on the campaign map. Can I tilt the camera? No, I can't. It's a shame. So we have a <laughs> depleted force of legionary cohorts, plebs, and velites, and some garrison fleet against. We're only against five units. It should be a pretty cool battle. So, guys, I shall see you all on the battle map. Okay, guys, welcome to the battlefield. I have some ships that I want to disembark, which I can't, unfortunately. It's a little bit silly that I can't disembark here. I can't actually... Oh, wait, I can go inside my settlement because my capture point is actually outside the wall by here. Nice design of the city. This is Massilia, by the way. If you guys were wondering, I couldn't really tell on the campaign map, but it is Massilia that we are fighting. And the Romans, of course, they have five units altogether. The general, Lucius, is over there. And then they have four, uh, leg three legionary cohorts and one cohort, Aquila. What we will be doing is firing upon them with my units here. Plus my tower should be able to get some shots away as well. I've got my men stationed by this gate because I imagine this will be the gate they probably go for. I have another tower by here as well which can fire upon them. And I'm going to take this opportunity just to have a little look at some of the units 
and the unit design. So custom made shields of course, custom made unit models which look pretty pretty neat I must say. Quintus Tuberus back here. Let's have a look at this guy. Actually we're going to bring these guys out of the way. Let's bring him to here so I can see him properly. Give you guys a proper look at this general in this army of ours. I like the shield designs. I'm guessing, let's see, let's get a little look at his face so we know which one it is. Yeah that's him by there. Looks a little bit grumpy, doesn't he? Looks a little bit, a little bit mean. Wouldn't want to fight him in a pub. Let's put it that way. <laughs> he doesn't look a happy chappy. I like the fact, actually, I like the fact his shield is different to everybody else's as well, apart from his standard bearer. Nice little touch, though. Right, these guys are now out as well. These three units, which we can probably bring up here to help us out. Have my missiles on quick reload. The only mod I have installed at the moment is this mod. I do think though that it's compatible with Radius and most other mods. I think the only mod it isn't compatible with is Divide and Conquer. But don't quote me on that, so I'm assuming it's going to be the same as the Spartacus Rises mod. Because it's a similar type of total overhaul mod. Ooh, and these guys are getting straight up the gates. My god, look at this. The AI using ladders in Total War Room 2. It's unheard of. <laughs> A little bit of lag there, I'm going to zoom out because we don't like lag. One thing we hate. Legionaries. I probably should have got my legionaries up here. However, I'm going to probably sit where I am for now. They've got to come down here. Plebs ready. Pull the plebs back. They can the just be used as a unit to uh, speed. kind of throw against them. Double time. Be able to do some damage over a little bit of lag again. We don't like lag, it's horrible. One thing I hate with these battles in Rome 2 is the lagging. Let's get some quick reloads going. Haven't killed enough of these for my liking 151, 159, and 160. So they're doing very well against us, as you can see. And they got this fourth ladder. I wonder if they use this fourth ladder and actually climb up that as well. I'd love to see it happen because they've had three units go up three ladders. So if anything, if this mod does improve the AI, because I haven't quite read it yet, this is a, a first overview of course, just like a first off, off the bat look at this mod. If that's the case though, this is going to be a very good mod for the AI challenge, because the AI has actually used these ladders. We've seen three units come up now and use them. Jupiter gives us strength, and we're going to be experiencing a very good AI in this game, which is unheard of, because they don't use ladders especially in my experience with different mods on and on legendary difficulty this is legendary difficulty as you can see in the bottom right corner with a little uh, blurred out little dot and of course you can see from the starting screen the legendary difficulty which I chose but yeah this would be very interesting to see if that was the case probably gonna throw some of these plebs up there missile infantry ready these three can be used to probably hurt these guys Plebs can greet them. Legionary cohorts. Gonna send these guys in. I don't know where the cavalry is gone. Are they burning the gates? I don't think they are, are they? Oh, they are. Damn it. Okay, so it does have its drawbacks. <laughs> not much you can do about that, though. That's that's the, the game and not the mod. And we are losing men. The AI is doing a very good job in this battle, actually. Roma Invicta. This is actually our capture point here, then what was that over there? Two... I'm a bit confused. Three. We have three capture points, but we only have one showing. I think that's because you have to have overall control of two out of three to get the capture point. Quick reload. They've actually got two units out flanking me here. They're taking this tower. Oh, and we're losing this battle. We're doing terribly in this battle, guys. Holy moly. The AI, I stand, I sit back in awe. The AI has done a pretty good job in this battle. It has taken the tower, it has taken the walls. It's attacked the gate, okay, which is a bit naughty, but apart from that, it's done a very good job in this battle. Okay, I was outnumbered. Didn't have the best of units and I was depleted, but still a very good showing by the AI. And this mod looks really good. I have to say it, you know. Done a very good job. They had full units, of course. We didn't have full units, and we didn't have particularly good units, to be honest. But 
apart from that, it, you know, it, that was a great battle to take part in. They only lost 81 men, and I had towers firing upon them, I had Vedates attacking them, and I had my infantry engaging them on the ground. So, yeah, very pleased with this so far. Very, very pleased. Oh, and that was... That was horrible. I'm dead. I've lost Massilia. A decisive defeat. And I think I'm going to end this overview here. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this overview. If you have, it'd mean a lot to me if you could leave a like and give me some feedback in the comment section below. As always, I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.